All right. I haven't found the beef yet. We're gonna go on YouTube. Okay. Ah. <laughs> These are the. Uh, I'm the, wearing my mask. The, right? the Neuromaster Carver is of the future, right here. We're gonna show this to Doctor. These are the Michigan guys. This looks good. Look at that great carving. <laughs> looks good. Excellent. Okay, so we have now the chronoplasty. I mean, we. I mean, that was a, a cool demonstration. It looked really excellent. It's happy to land the dots, but now we know how we got the dots landed. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that looks excellent. So in brief, how do you think we landed those marks? How do you think we landed those marks? Knowing how to carve anatomy into your orthotics. Knowing where, where it should be and where it huh? shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing, it, it's what, knowing, where, knowing, knowing where the anatomy should be tooth anatomy, and where yeah. it shouldn't be. Yep. <laughs> See, now, now you're saying my language there, Ramsey. That was awesome because it's about the anatomy. That's why I think every dentist needs to understand the anatomy because it affects how our, our cases look anatomically. It affects our porcelain work. It affects the way we prescribe our wax ups. It affects how we deal with phase one and phase two. It's all in the anatomy. It's it's like sculpturing. It really is. Because you remove. Yes. You, you see what yeah. you want to. What's yeah. already there. Yeah. And you remove what's in the way until you're left with. Yes, and as Bob Jenkelson says, we're carving the statue of David. You know, it was Michelangelo. Right. He had this big chunk of whatever granite or marble, <laughs> and he and he knew what was supposed yeah. to be as David, and he cleared everything away, and then out came David. So, in essence, we're trying to achieve that by we have envisioned what we want, and then we clear it all away, leaving the good stuff. I think at the, the very difficult end. part is when you start, you have some, it doesn't look anything like it's going to look. Right. Yeah. Remember, it's it started out as this big. It started out as this big chunk, yeah. but I had we have envisioned what is what we want out of it to get the yeah. remaining part, and that's how form will follow function to create the feeling. Now I see why you make your own orthotic because you have to do a lot of work to adjust your little lab ones. It looks like right now. Nothing like what he says. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like in order for you to have total case control, you gotta take your own bite. You gotta, that 10 years you gotta yeah. do your own orthotics, and then when you deliver, now that you understand the well, orthotic, anatomy, not trim it so it would be like what we had to start with yesterday. But only it's the actual oh, orthotic. Oh sure. Material. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we take it from there. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then we're not having to take you another couple hours or more. Yeah, but if you don't even want to go through the pressure positive point, you just have it delivered around. The best would be in. These are the masters at work. I'm going to adjust this right there a little bit. 